Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Roaring off launch pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center, the next chapter in America's love affair with all things space. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust. NASA's Artemis rocket, the most powerful ever built, headed for a 26 day uncrewed orbit around the moon. The liftoff at 1.47 a.m. coming after NASA had to scrub August and September attempts due to a bad sensor and a fuel leak. Then Hurricanes Ian and Nicole pushed the launch into November. Overnight, another fuel leak triggered a pause before mission controllers gave the green light to continue. I'm telling you, we've never seen such a, a tale of flame. This is just the test flight. And we are stressing it and testing it in ways that we will not do to a rocket that has a human crew on it. Artemis is the twin Greek god of Apollo with perfect aim, a test flight before astronauts fly a crewed flight around the moon. And then in 2025 or later, a woman and person of color will climb inside the Orion space capsule and eventually land on the moon for the first time since 1972. The ultimate goal, build a lunar base and space station for future missions to Mars. Just like Apollo, the astronauts on Orion will lift off on their backs, but there's 30% more room inside Orion than Apollo, which means there's room for four astronauts instead of three. Now, right over there is a retractable rowing machine for exercise, and right there is a commode. Orion's return will also look like Apollo, but re-entering the Earth's atmosphere hotter and faster, parachuting into the Pacific Ocean. Splashdown for this mission, set for December 11th off San Diego. And that is a critical part of this test, that heat shield underneath the Orion spaceship. It's got to work because they're going to hit 5,000 degrees temperature on re-entry. That is half the temperature of the sun. You guys, back to you. Wow. And Tom, this is kind of weird, but we hear that there are mannequins inside the spaceship. Is that right? Test mannequins, test dummies. Uh, one of them is kind of mimicking or will have will kind of take readouts, if you will, on the G-forces that a human will feel when they're inside the Orion spaceship. And then they've got two female dummies. Really, it's just the waist up. But that's a radiation test to see how much radiation exposure will individuals get when they're inside Orion. So three test dummies. Again, as I mentioned, four people will be in there eventually. But three test dummies right now to give NASA a good sense of what it will be like to be on board Orion in a real mission within two years or so. Mm. Uh, All right, Tom Costello for us there. Tom, thanks. Uh, going back to the moon. Wow. The commode was pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I like the level of detail there. Yeah, you know, he, thank yeah. you. He knows we're wondering. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Tom. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.